I'm back. Can I get a pizza, the pasty, a sausage roll, two cold sandwiches, a Lucas Aid. Have you got any donuts? Let me have a look. Can I have two of them? Oh, and one of the pink jammy donuts. What do you want? <laughs> Here's a water, please. <laughs> and a water, thanks. <laughs> no, we're filming today out. He races motorbikes, oh, so we're just I filming a feature. Okay. So you can be on if you want to be on. Hey, what's great? <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Have you done that yeah. before? Um, yeah, obviously I'm not racing at the moment, but... I know you've got the Paralympics, I thought you were going to do something... <laughs> yeah, they don't have para motorbikes, unfortunately, no. Yeah. It'll be on in... It's my face anyway, so... Good, I, I thought it brightened your day, it was something interesting. It'll be like... What time? You're going to show my face for two seconds? Yeah, yeah. we'll be on. We can make it longer than two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Just Apparently you can make it last longer than two seconds, oh, I don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't for me, by the way. No? One minute, 37 seconds later. Good morning, I'm on my way to Donington Park for the British Superbike event this weekend to give you a proper behind the scenes inside the McCams Yamaha garage with my brother Tara McKenzie. This is instantly going to be a better vlog because I'm just about to pick the one and only Aaron Kingswood up from the train station. <laughs> I've missed him, <laughs> look at this. Wow. <laughs> Mad marks. <laughs>
So Friday was the first day of riding. Uh, I think I ended up overall 17th maybe. I think I was 15th in the first one. Um, I had to adjust the gear lever a little bit. I had to move it out and up to let me shift properly because I couldn't really shift uh, with my left ankle. My ankle wasn't really causing me many problems. The only problem I had was I was getting arm pump, um, which was a bit of a problem. I was only doing three, four laps at the most maybe until it was properly giving way. So I was a little bit annoyed if I'm honest. I know this is meant to be positive and upbeat, but I've worked so hard to get my ankle back to a reasonable condition, which I did, which I was happy about, but I wasn't expecting to get on pump just because I haven't got on pump in my whole career, really. So that was a big factor throughout the weekend. That was probably my biggest problem. Saturday morning was a lot more positive. Um, the on pump was still there, but uh, I was riding a bit better in myself. We improved the bike a little bit. I did my fastest ever lap round Donington National Track uh, by two tenths, so everyone else went a little bit faster. But I wasn't so far off in qualifying, I was quite happy. I had to go through Q1 and then through to Q2. I had a nice little target off my friend Kyle Ride, which helped a lot. Did my fastest ever lap round there, which I don't know if that's impressive that I've come back and done my fastest ever lap or a bit embarrassing that I had full working body in the past four years and uh, and I only did a certain lap time so and then we had the race on Saturday which I ended 10th which I was quite happy with I was off the back of the group with the likes of Bridewell, Hickman, Iden, Skinner I just didn't have anything in the locker really to try and get close to them so um, I ended up 10th a little bit off the back of that group but was fairly happy to finish top 10 in my first race back. Sunday, uh, I woke up very achy, probably the most achiest, if that's a word, I've ever had on a Sunday morning of BSB. Warm-up was okay, went out, we tried something different with the bike, which went to more uh, how we had the bike last year, and it improved my front-end feel a little bit, which was nice, so I had a bit more confidence with that. Uh, the first race was really good, I was really pleased. There was a couple of crashes in front but I was right with the group with the likes of Iden, uh, Skinner, Hickman eventually came through, Leon Haslam was in the group as well and, um, and I just had a proper good little battle, It was I had a smile on my face when I came in because it was nice just to ride with these guys. I was on my own for probably half the race and then I managed to catch the group in front and then uh, we were kind of passing each other and, um, and had a good little battle so I ended up sick. Uh, with Leon and Hickman eventually in front of me for fifth and fourth, so wasn't so far a fourth place. The leaders were a fair way ahead, um, but I was really pleased to finish sixth. I kind of used all I'd got at that point, all the energy and and kind of fitness and arm pump, everything was uh, used in race one, let's say. Um, and in between race one and two, I was popping energy gels, I was drinking coffee, I was doing everything possible to get prepared for the last race um, and the first half before the safety car came out I was right with the the kind of podium group when the safety car came out I was I wasn't laughing in my helmet but I was thinking this is going to be a tough end to the race to be fair my ankle and fitness probably wasn't so bad but my arm just gave up which then was using other body parts which were giving up so I was literally riding around going like two seconds slower than I had been all uh, weekend in the last five laps loads of people came past and I ended up finishing 11th at one point I thought I might just come in because I didn't want to do anything stupid or anything stupid to happen the gap behind me I think Chrissy Rouse eventually passed me and then there was a bit of a gap behind so I just literally felt like I pushed it round for the last two laps and came 11th so to have three solid point scoring finishes was more than I expected really going into the weekend and fitness might not have been there as much as I'd like to have been but the speed and feeling I got were, came back quite quick, which was good for me. So I was pleased with that. It was a positive end to the weekend, I think. I was going to say not because I finished 11th, but to finish 6th in Sunday was, was great. So um, now I've got two, uh, no, one week off now and then a two day test at Not Kill next week. So it's perfect for me. It's a physical track, a track I really enjoy, a track I went well at last year. So I can just start riding properly again I can start riding flat track and all that as well and uh, and just try and get up to speed as much as possible. Taylor's just told me to say thanks for watching and seeing the next one but this is not my YouTube channel so 
Um, thanks for watching Taylor's videos. He's used me for clout again because he's run out of video ideas again. I got, I'll try and find the text. He said, "Can I video you?" Because I've run out of ideas, or he's not jet setting off. You probably zoom right in. Not jet setting off the GPS, so he needs to use me. So anytime you see me in these, in these videos, it's not because he thinks, "Oh, let's see what Taz is up to." Like British Superbike rider, let's see the day in the life of Taron. <laughs> it's Oh, Taz, I've run out of video ideas. Uh, let's. Uh, this is meant to be a quick ending. Sorry. See you in the next one, which, again, <laughs> as I said before, you'll see me in the next one when he's run out of video ideas. So let's say week after Barcelona GP, when you see that vlog, the week after I'm going to the Isle of Man and he'll probably video there because I'm going and I've kind of invited him. So I'll see you in the next one.